what you're looking at in these videos, there is a radiated tortoise that hatched in March of this year. So they're roughly three to four months old. And there's a young adult male radiated tortoise who is 35 years old, which is actually young for a radiated tortoise. For a variety of reasons, radiated are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. Habitat loss is a big one. Another issue with radiated is that they've always been overcollected for the pet trade. There's a couple of things you can take from looking at these guys side by side. One thing is that as they get bigger, the, the adults are a lot better equipped with its size to deal with this environment. The adults also are going to be more mobile if it needs to move somewhere to get food than the baby would. It's going to be better equipped to deal with like a dry spell because it's just a bigger, more robust animal. But with turtles, it takes a long time to get to that stage. Radiated don't become mature until they're in their teens. So, you know, it's going to take a while to get that big and get to that level where he or she can be what you could consider safer. The other thing with turtles is that they are slow to mature. For the same reasons, they have to be big enough to reproduce. The slow maturing, and a lot of them have small clutch sizes. Certain mammals or birds, they mature really fast and they have a lot of babies at a younger age. While they're doing that, the turtle is still maturing. It's going to take a while for that animal to become reproductive. So the big thing to take on this is that if that adult is removed from the wild, it creates a, a hole in the population and it doesn't fill in as fast as it would with other animals. It's going to take a while to replace that animal. It could take years. All the problems that radiated tortoises have, you can translate them to turtles all around the world.